英語聞き流し10分間名作リスニング英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロードその他の物語はホームページよりご利用いただけます 88thpp.com 88thpp.com Free. As long as I could remember, my family members had told me that I was the successor of the family, and I was to live with my family all my life as my father, my grandfather, my great grandfather, and on and on and on did by taking a husband into our family to bear a family name. They kept saying that as a usual chant so repeatedly that I was sort of under the spell that I would be stuck in the house as a successor until the day I die. So I was an outsider when other girls chatted giggly about what last name they would bear after their marriage or where they would live in the future. I knew what my last name And what my future address would be, because they wouldn't be changed. My whole life was so predictable for that matter. Since I knew my future, I had no interest in my life, and days were so boring. I changed my future completely by abandoning my family, my friends, my hometown, and the old tradition. Now I'm free from my once arranged future. Instead, I dread my uncertain future every day. Audiobook Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. IQ Where I grew up wasn't a good neighborhood. To my mother, seeing her child go to a public junior high school was out of the question. To get in a privileged private junior high, she made me go to a supplementary private school after the classes of elementary school. But even to get in the supplementary school, There was an entrance examination because it was for selective kids. As the public elementary school I attended was low at the educational level, my score of the exam was bad, although I was the smartest at school. But the exam included an IQ test, which I had never taken before. In a three way interview between the examiner, my mother, and me after the exam, the examiner told us that he had never seen this high IQ. I was supposed to fail the exam due to the low marks, but they let me pass as an exception considering my high IQ. Since then, I've relied on my IQ for my life. My IQ is the only source of my confidence in my pathetic life, but it's the reason of my suffering as well. I've been unable to accept each and every failure of mine because I don't understand why my high IQ couldn't avoid it. Why do I fail in so many things? Why am I unsuccessful? Will I end my life without making use of my IQ? My partner compares me to a Formula One car. Although it runs faster than any other cars on the circuit, it's completely useless on a regular street. I'm looking for a circuit for me, but unfortunately, roads in the real world are all ragged with various obstacles. Audiobook, The Family in Kyoto, One Japanese Girl Got Freedom by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Google Play, Audible, 43 available distributors in total. The Thickest Door 
In the summer of my fourth grade, I was in the hospital. It started as cold like symptoms with high fever. But I was left unattended because summer was the peak season for farming, and my parents were extremely busy as farmers. To make things worse, my family had been rebuilding our house at the time, and extra attention of my parents was paid to that. About a week later, I vomited blood and fainted. That at last captured my parents' attention, and they realized the seriousness. When I became conscious, they had called a nurse who lived in the neighborhood, and she was attending me. She suggested taking me to a hospital. After examination, I was diagnosed with nephritis. As the summer break for school was just around the corner, I was admitted to the hospital on the day the break began. Although I had been longing for the summer break as the precious time of my freedom, I was locked up in the hospital instead. I shared the room with five other girl patients. Except for a very small or very sick child, parents weren't permitted to stay overnight with the patients. They came during the visiting hours. I was nine years old and had never stayed outside home for such a long time before. I suffered from homesickness rather than from nephritis. My parents were too busy working seven days a week as farmers, and only my mother visited me every day. But she only made it less than one hour before the visiting hour ended, although I was waiting for her all day long. No matter how desperately I begged her to come earlier, she prioritized her work, and I got to see her merely forty minutes or so a day. Sometimes my father also came to see me, taking my younger sister with him. In that case, when the visiting hour was over, I would see my parents and my sister off. They went into the elevator together, and the door shut before me, excluding me alone. That was the thickest door I'd ever felt it was. I went back to my bed and lay down hiding tears from other girls and nurses. Maybe it hinted my future relationship with my family. The three of them still lived together in their house that I left after I struggled and couldn't quite fit in. エゴ聞き流し10分間名作リスニング英語テキストと mp3ダウンロードその他の物語はホームページよりご利用いただけます。88thpp.com88thpp.com